Attention all Outlander fans, are you ready for some exciting news? Season 7 is on the way and we have some insider information about the new cast. Get ready to meet some fresh faces as we dive deeper into the world of Claire and Jamie. Nah, I think I'll let him watch first. From new love interests to dangerous adversaries, the upcoming season promises to be an epic adventure. So grab your kilts and join us as we explore the new cast of Outlander Season 7. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you never miss an update on your favourite show. We're in the midst of a drought, but fans of the well-known time travel show need not be concerned. On June 16th, the seventh season of Outlander will premiere. To keep viewers interested until the summer, stars shared a few sneak peek pictures in March. According to Christina Davis, president of original programming at Stars, Stars is committed to investing in unapologetically bold premium storytelling that amplifies diverse voices and shines a spotlight on women in front of and behind the camera through a hashtag take the leap campaign. The popular television show Outlander exemplifies every aspect of our project, including a strong female lead and a talented group of writers. The upcoming season will feature more time travel as well as the exploits of Claire and Jamie in America during the revolution. We are ecstatic that Stars is giving us the chance to carry out the epic Outlander journey," Roberts exclaimed. The first new episodes are scheduled to air on June 16th of summer 2023. The initial official teaser video has been made public. Early in 2023, Stars single-handedly lifted the January doldrums for many fans by releasing a teaser trailer that gives us the first look at brand new material from Season 7. It features Jamie, San Human, telling Claire about a recent dream he had. Catriona Bath There was light all around you, but it wasn't from the candles or a fire, he explains. I reasoned that must be how electric light appears. Jamie, of course, was born in the 18th century, more than a decade before most people had access to electric lighting. How can you identify something that you've never seen in person? Claire poses a query that is bound to rekindle rumours regarding Jamie's alleged incapacity for time travel. His reply will also be, I have historical dreams. Why wouldn't I want to imagine the future? Hmm. Stars unveiled the new title sequence for the season just in time for Valentine's Day, featuring Sinead O'Connor. The Sky Boat song will be performed by Sinead O'Connor, who we are pleased to have. For me, her interpretation serves as a reminder of all that is lovely about Outlander, explains Matthew B. Roberts, the show's executive producer and showrunner. She has incredible talent, her voice is timeless, piercing the heart and soul, and it perfectly captures the essence of the program. A number of new characters will be introduced in the new installment, including the adult William, Jamie's bastard son, played by Charles Vandervaart, and the Quaker siblings Denzel, Joey Phillips, and Rachel Hunter, Izzy, Michael Small. The eighth and the final season of Outlander will consist of ten episodes, ending Jamie and Claire's television story once and for all. However, the Fraser family saga is expected to continue in a brand new Outlander prequel series that has been given the go-ahead. Season 7 of the show was previously thought to be the show's finale season, however, Stars has now confirmed that Outlander will run for an eighth and final season, consisting of ten episodes. The sixth season of Outlander has to be cut short because of the epidemic. Fans, though, need not panic. Stars just announced an expanded season 7 with 16 episodes to make up for this drought of Lander. The showrunner of Outlander, Matthew B. Roberts, stated in a statement, We're delighted to get into the editing studio to work on getting the viewers closer to reconnecting with the family back on Fraser's Ridge in order to provide the audience with the most lively and energetic season as quickly as possible. We decided to shorten the season because filming in 2021 presented an unparalleled set of problems. Dina Fash, as soon as things get back to normal, we'll shoot an expanded season 7 with 16 episodes the following year. Executive producer Merrill Davis even referred to the upcoming season as supersized in an interview with ET. Although nothing has been verified, there are rumours circulating that this may be the show's final season. On Twitter, Diana Gabaldon commented on the claims, writing, My suggestion is to ignore foolish clickbait on the internet. Of course, season 7 might be the final one, but it very well could not. Nobody is aware of that. But because people persist in nagging, they receive non-answers like maybe and add absurd headlines. Sam Kewen and Kate Riona Balth, who have starred as Jamie and Claire Fraser throughout the entire series, will also be back in the main cast of Outlander for Season 7, as Bree and Roger McKenzie, Sophie Skelton and Richard Rankin will also return. 
Young Ian will also be played by John Bell again, and Lord John Grey will be played by David Berry. Paul Gorman will reprise his roles as Josiah and Kezia Beardsley, while Caitlin Orion will reprise her role as Lizzie. While everyone deals with the fallout from Malva's murder, Alexander Vlahos and Mark Lewis Jones reprise their roles as Alan Christie and Tom Christie, respectively. The the series will also have fresh new faces, as several new characters are expected to join. William Ransom, who is now an adult British soldier and is Jamie's hidden son, will be portrayed by Charles Vandervert. Joey Phillips will portray Denzel Hunter, a doctor, and Izzy Michael Small will play Rachel Hunter, who may or may not be young Ian's potential love interest. While Ian brings a hurt William Ransom to the farm, they're revealed to the Outlander universe as Quakers. Regrettably, it's unlikely that Caesar, Domboy and Lauren Lyle, who played Fergus and Marsali Fraser respectively, will make a comeback since they left Fraser's Ridge without giving any indication that they would. Also, the two actors have not shown in any behind-the-scenes pictures from the series' Scotland location shoots. Given that several of the returning players named above are no longer alive in the history of the program, viewers may be wondering just how this will work. Although there is always a chance of flashbacks, showrunner Matthew B. Roberts has suggested that there might be another explanation. Roberts said in a statement to TV Line, We're pleased to bring back so many beloved faces for season 7. One of the many thrills of our epic story is the aspect of time travel, which allows us to return some of our favourite characters in different eras and places, Roberts said. Kate Rihanna Bath wants to give directing the programme a shot. It's unclear if that will be achievable in Season 7. I've been discussing it on the show, the speaker said. It appears to be falling on some deaf ears, she said. Vanity Fair. It would have been ideal as an opportunity for me in a very secure environment, she added. I'm so close to the entire camera team, and they're constantly talking about the lens and frame they're using, and they're actually always incredibly helpful in providing me as much information as I want. Sadly, I will have no control over it. The planning for Season 7 has been ongoing for some time. The series' further intentions were discussed by executive producer Meryl Davis at the Television Critics Association press tour in January 2019. Davis remarked, We'll keep making this until Claire and Jamie are 100. We really will. There are still many novels left to read. And if stars Sony and the stars are all on board, we'll move forward if we can. Given that a prequel series was announced to be in the works early this year, it's clear that stars and Sony desire to continue producing the Outlander series. The Blood of My Blood television series will chronicle the courtship of Jamie Fraser's parents, Ellen McKenzie and Brian Fraser. Showrunner of the Outlander series Matthew B. Roberts will pen the script and serve as executive producer, Ronald D. Moore and Meryl Davis will also serve in this capacity. A spin-off series following Lord John Grey particularly, and using Diana Gabaldon's novellas about the character, has already been requested by fans, and it might still be in the works depending on how well the prequel series does. We still discuss how to create the plot for Outlander on a regular basis. It is something that we're aware of, Jeffrey Hirsch, CEO of Stars, told EW. We want to keep providing that audience with the best stories, in our opinion. And that's a wrap, Outlander fans. We hope that you're just as excited as we are for the upcoming season and the incredible new cast members that will be joining the show. Don't forget to share this video with your fellow Sassanucks and hit the like button if you're looking forward to season 7. And of course, make sure to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out on our Outlander updates. Thank you for tuning in and we'll see you next time. Sláinte